character. Her life is desolate and bleak until she encounters Marbius, a powerful but equally lonely immortal being with a furry appearance. Hounded by hunters, together with Mysteria and Marbius roam the empire, populated by humans and human-like beasts, in search of places where they can live together in peace. This anime has about 13 episodes. It premiered January 8, 2023 to April 2nd of the same year. It's a manga series. It is anthropomorphic, historical, demographic, intelligent. Genre is action and fantasy. Each episode is 20 minutes and it's rated PG-13. Let's get started into the review. What I really like about this anime, especially this one right here, Historia, she is so enthralled by the character right here. He looks like he's giving like Mufasa vibes with horns. That's not because it, his appearance looks like a lion very fiery lion and it's giving similar vibes to Samadhi and the forest spirit and the ancient Magnus Bride. Each of them are you know entrusted with someone who they care about or trying to save or rescue or get back to where they need to be and this poor girl hysterica she is like begging in the streets of London and she, her life has been rough and I mean rough when you watch this but overall she's just happy to have more of his company because if humans can't see Mormius in his other form, then, oh, they can't see him at all. But when he gets to a different form, they can see him. But what I really like about this partnership is like, he's been walking around London for hundreds of thousands of years and no human can see him besides Hysteria. And he's like, well, I might as well try entertaining this little girl because I'm kind of bored and nothing else left to do. So he just kind of wanders around London without having anything to do. He's just bored. But when they, when she is in need of him, he does come to her rescue, which is I thought was very interesting. As someone who's walked around for a thousand years and you're just bored and you just, you know, happen to encounter this human child who's an orphan and you just talk to her to relieve your boredom, I digress. But once he comes to her rescue, he transforms into his human form, which you see here in that I oh 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 so love like look at this form like i can see why he doesn't go in this human form a lot because he told hysteria like if i go in my human form all the female ladies will go crazy over me and i'm like frankly if i saw that face in london back then i would too no offense not gonna lie like i will happily tag along and protect hysteria if i could just look at your human form like like just like this all day but with the tales of outcast being rolled back in here i will say it was an interesting premise like a com Com compared to the previous ones of Ancient Madness Bride, like that is based in London and the Smile and Forest Spirit that's more based in like fantasy realm. But between a Ancient Madness Bride and this one, they're both set in London. They're both set, this one's more 19th century. I don't know what the period that Ancient Madness Bride might be 16th or 17th century. It might be wrong. But it does give similar vibe of two protectors basically entrusted with someone either they care about or trying to help or try to live together peacefully with. And I think that type of storyline is very cool, especially since in this Tales of the Outcasts, there's more of that going on versus how in like this and like my final thoughts about this, you know, of Tales of the Outcasts is that particularly like between AJ Magic Bride and this one, they both have similar storyline, but they're, they're vastly different from each other. But I like how they're both invested in the environment of london instead of in japan how most of the animes go but definitely check out tales of because i really thoroughly like this a lot and i can't wait to see if they do bring back a second season because the way they left it off it does enthrall um or hints at basically another season which i can't wait to enjoy i hope that is the case i literally want to see how more hysteria and more bonds bonds grow the time they try to find somewhere to live peacefully and see how many more uh immoral beings and human like you know partnerships that, that they encounter along the way while they travel in london but definitely check out tales of outcasts if you haven't already and let me know what you think down in the comments below but i will see you real soon for another anime review until then take care and see you soon bye